right, folks, welcome back to the Heavy Chevy. We are towing the wood splitter. We're going back to that wood lot, of course. Homestead Jim will be meeting us there, like I said in the last video. But also, it's raining, almost crappy weather, of course. Every day we get to cut wood. Every time I get free time to cut wood, it's always raining. So <laughs> let's weather the storm and let's buck up some more of that dry pine. It's burning really good, as you saw in the end of the last video. So we'll see when we guys get there. Making some good progress, folks. We got a whole truckload of split pine. This stuff is super dry, super light. Uh, so when we come back, I think we'll stage over there, finish off that top, 
and then we'll probably work on Goliath here. Definitely gonna need the 590 for that. Um, but yeah, they kind of, the homeowner kind of put stuff in a pile, so that kind of helped. I don't know if he wants to burn it, but hope I don't have to take it all, but we shall see. Branch woods, no complaints. So let's hook up Old Faithful here. Let's get back to the homestead and let's go ahead and dump this. All righty, folks, we are back. Oh yes, let's dump out some chunk wood. Ooh, that one's gonna fall right there. Like I said in the last video, this is always the fun part, opening the gate, not getting crushed. Yahoo! Now that, my friends, is a nice pile of dry, ready-to-go wood. I can't even get to the door. All right, so we got a big old, big old pile here. This is a leftover full round from last night. Oh, yes. That thing is nice and dry. So our coal bed's getting a little eh. I told you that before. Pine kind of sucks up your coal bed. So let's grab some hardwood, and we'll throw some of these chunks. Here to set you guys on. So we're going to take some of the split. I call it excavator wood to help maintain our coal bed. Now you can burn straight pine, but um, it sucks up your coal bed. I think I've said that before. So these are just to keep the coal bed going. Because the pine doesn't leave anything. It doesn't leave anything for you. Okay, so we're gonna grab two of these. These pod ladderies. Okay. Let's go back for more. Yeah. Homestead Jim is here in the rain. We're gonna go cut some wood. He's not happy. He's gonna get wet today. So <laughs> I told He's him. Killing me. Yeah. I told him. I said, "Suck it up. This is our opportunity to bring home some hay." So we're headed back to that wood lot. Um, we already made one run as you saw, but now we got Homestead Gym with us, so hopefully we'll be productive. We gotta be back at the homestead for one o'clock. I got something going on, so we have a couple hours to get another truckload of wood, so I think we should be good. So we'll see you guys when we get there.
All right, folks, we're doing well. This is the top of that last one. A lot of good wood left on that tree. Not really good saw log. It's tough to see, but it has a few way. It has a few ups and downs, and it's not the most straight. So that's why basically it's still here for firewood. So we got these two tr dead trees done, um, loaded up here. So now Dad and I are just going to start working on this. I figured we might as well work on it. It's nice and suspended right in that crotch there. So we're free to just kind of cut and work our way in. Dad's going to load up the heavy Chevy till we're pretty much full. We'll go dump it, rinse, repeat. So I'll uh, put you guys up on another time lapse and off we go. Alright folks, here we go. Round, this is round three, the third round in Homestead Gym. I did two rounds by myself, but we got our saws in there, got a bunch of good boiler wood. <clears throat> this log is getting greener as we go down, so that's pretty much it for today. We have, we've made three trips, still have a decent pile of branches, and we still have quite the log to tackle, but that was fun, kind of limited. Dad was a little nervous there, uh, up on a wet log with a chainsaw. What could go wrong? So, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys back at the home. And there you have it, folks. Another beautiful load of all ready to go pine split. Most of it is split, ready to go. There's a boiler back there somewhere. So, needless to say, I'm happy with it. That was trip number three. I did two of myself. Homestead Jim just did the last one with me. So, we're going to see. Um, I got to run somewhere. I got to run into town. And then we're going to see if we can get back there, if I can milk Homestead Gym for a little bit more, a couple more hours of physical labor. So we'll see. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Hope you guys enjoy. God bless. Let me know what you think. And like I always say, we will see you guys out in the woods. <laughs>